Sunday as
The Pelicans have been known to fly as high as 3,000 metres and can remain in the air for 24 hours. They are also known to occasionally visit the southern coast of Papua New Guinea and the northern coast of Northern New Zealand and Northern Ireland, but the only breed here in Australia. Their wingspan may vary from 2.3 to 2.8 metres wide. And although the pouch doesn't look very big, it can hold up to 13 metres of water. The only difference between the male and the female are their size. The females are the smaller ones with a shorter bill, like little Missy, just near the feeder on the feeder's left side, the one that was running up there before, and the, the males, they're the taller ones. So they're the bigger. That's a little female that just jumped up in front of me. That's a male next to her. The males weigh about six to eight kilos, and their bill length is 42 to 50 centimetres in length. Females weigh about four to six kilos, and their bill length is 35 to 42 centimetres. The, pel the pelican's body length may vary from 1.5 to 1.8 metres long. With another late one coming in, or two. Two late ones, they must have heard from my voice. The pelicans can breed all year round, but their main time is September through to March. Pelicans lay about three to four eggs, similar to the size of a large duck egg, although not all of them would survive. Their incubation period is 32 to 35 days. The young are born naked with a black bill and are fed by their parents' regurgitation. A pelican is fully grown within 14 weeks and are then usually independent. They then make their journey from their main nesting ground in Lake Eyre in South Australia, the East Coast. We have about 500 pelicans here on Tugra Lakes and on average about 80 per feed. We still have Chris and Anne, John and Anne sorry, going on here with our donation buckets and our toy pelicans that are $10 each. And that money raised goes back towards us purchasing the fish. We purchase our fish from Jumbo Seafood, which is the blue building located behind us. <laughs> The juvenile pelicans, they're the ones with the lighter brown feathers and the paler skin. I've got a male young one here in the water. Throw one over here, Irene. Ooh, oh, nearly, you nearly got it. The young juvenile there. That's a male. Another one up here on the platform. So when they've got the lighter brown feathers and the paler skin, and their legs a bit lighter, they're our juveniles. The Australian spectacle pill, we can eat about one to two kilos of fish per day, even less in care, and their favourite is mullet. Pel pelicans are not particularly active, they mainly feed during the day and occasionally at night. We have about 200,000 people a year that come and visit our pelican feed from all over the world. So we rely on our sponsors and our visitors' donations to help, help purchase our fish. We purchase our fish from Jimbo Seafood, which is the blue building located behind us. Once again, a big thank you to our major sponsors, which is Diggers at the Entrance and Star 104.5. And all donations count and are highly appreciated. And the selling of our toy pelicans, it's a good souvenir to take home. So remember where you've been today, $10 each. And that money will help, will help us purchase <laughs> fish every day of the year. We do have some special birds here on the leg. We do have one wing. He lost his wing many years ago, 25, six years ago now, in a boating accident. And he hasn't been coming through the holidays as he cannot fly. And he paddles down under, from north under the bridge there, but due to a lot of boats and people and animals in the water, he hasn't been for all these holidays. So next week, when the holidays finish, he might start to return. So he cannot fly. So when you're out in your boats, watch out for him or other birds like him. We have Missy, as you saw, walking up the back before. So when you're out and about picnicking, watch out for her. She can be cheeky. And then we've got Twister, Grandpa Twister. I don't think either of them are here today. Can you see him, Irene? No. Yes. There's normally Twister and Grandpa Twister. Their bill is twisted in a, and their feathers are a bit in a funny way because they can't groom themselves because of their beaks being a bit twisted. So they were being born Look at that one. like that or being in the fishing. 
Yeah. Problem. That's what I think. So if you're out about picnicking, always take your rubbish with you, otherwise it gets washed into our waterways. And it's not good for our waters or our estuaries. Our pelican feeding started in 1979 by Clifford's Fish and Chip Shop. An employee of the name Peter Major would feed the bird scraps every day during his lunch break. Many years ago, just behind us, there was a main road. And when Peter was running late, a few of the birds would walk across the road, sit in front of the shop and wait to be fed. The council created this feeding platform in 1996 to allow visitors to view and enjoy this attraction. The entrance town centre management then took over and started to collect donations and sponsors. With the help of us wonderful volunteers, we are now a major pelican feeding attraction. See if Irene's ready. See if they're paying attention to Irene. Pelicans, are you enjoying your feed? <laughs> Would you like some more? I think so. What about the Mexican? Uh, they're not oh, a little bit. You Australian spectacle pelicans, are you going to enjoy Australia Day? I think so, because they're the Australian spectacle pelicans. There are only species here. As I said, there's eight different species in the world. They're our Australian spectacle pelicans. So please keep an eye out for any injured birds and report it to your local wildlife group. Oh, I read. Oh, that, is, that scared them more, I read. Conductor. She was like a conductor and that scared them. Say, we don't want to hit, well, they might have heard her voice. That's why they ran. Oops. That came back to the people, Irene. That's a little one. We've still got our toy pelicans and our donation buckets going around. All donations are highly appreciated. If any of the volunteers missed you, it's just up the back. We've got our toy pelicans still. They're ten dollars each, and that money raised goes towards our art purchasing the fish. Ooh. Hey, Missy, chat girls. As people do ask that, why don't you see baby pellets? They don't leave their nestings until they're like this size, like this little juvenile here. So when the babies are born, of course they're naked when they hatch. And both male and female, both parents incubate the eggs and feed the chicks. Of course they regurgitate. So they take turns at looking after their young. How you going, Irene? Just getting up to our last couple of fish. Watch out, Irene. You ready? So, so when Irene throws this next one, we'll give a big clap and the bird pelican feed for today. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind donations and the people that purchased one of our pelicans. You're most welcome to come down on the front platform but just be cautious as the birds do jump back up and they do have a grooming tour. Don't forget there's lots of entertainment here on the weekend so hopefully you'll have a nice long weekend and take it on our road. Just double the merits. <laughs> and we'll hope you see you back here at the feed again. Thank you. Bye for now. Yeah, Mike, get around.